What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and what indeed happened last night. The Spider-Man No Way Home trailer finally dropped um, and it seems like Sony is finally going for their Sinister Six film with this one. Um, obviously both in my um, thumbnail that I've got on this video uh, as well as sort of popping up on the screen at the side here um, one at a time will be little bits where we can see like Dr. Octopus and Green Goblin and Electro and Sandman and if you look really hard in the background of this shot the lizard um, which means that we've got you know, Green Goblin from Sam Raimi's Spider-Man 1, Doc Ock from Spider-Man 2, Sandman from Spider-Man 3. We won't be getting Venom because Venom's been rebooted in Sony's Spider-Verse, um, which also got renamed. We're going to touch on that in a second. Um, so we've got the three sort of major villains from Sam Raimi's trilogy. Then we've got the Lizard and Electro, the two major villains from that one. The third villain, or well, the th third villain from Amazing Spider-Man 2 was Green Goblin, who have already got, It's just the Harry Osborn version of the character. Um, does make me wonder whether or not we're going to get a Harry Osborn in this movie. Um, and then the last one, um, that so far we haven't seen or had any confirmation of um, is Paul Giamatti's Rhino, um, which if we got that from the three from the Raimi trilogy, Lizard, Electro, Rhino, would be our Sinister Six. Um, however, this Lego set in particular um, looks like it's showing us in this little bottom corner here, this little green thing looks an awful lot like Scorpion, um, which would be a bit of a tie-in to the MCU's main continuity, our sacred timeline, if you will. Um, and because he was in uh, Homecoming, so this being sort of the last of this trilogy, um, we could see Scorpion come back as our sixth member. It's also been brought to my attention that uh, Vulture could be still a possibility, as well as uh, Mysterio, as given by these two Lego sets. These, however, seem to me um, more like uh, a recap of um, uh, events past sort of a thing. So sort of like a recap sort of a thing um, of villains. Um, the Shocker is also still out and about somewhere, so he could also potentially fill a role. Um, so there are, you know, for <laughs> it's funny, for the potential sixth role, like the sixth member, there are as many villains as we've already seen and I have confirmed um, with Rhino, uh, Vulture, Shocker, Scorpion, and Mysterio, um, the master of illusions, um, so, yeah, anyway, back to past me. Um, so, there's a lot of, like, speculation out there as to who the sixth member is, um, Sony is also wanting to do a, uh, Craven the Hunter movie, and so far, from the original in the comic versions, of um, the Sinister Six, we've got Doctor Octopus, we've got Electro, we've got Sandman, um, we've had Vulture, we've had Mysterio, Craven's the last original member from the comic version of the Sinister Six that we haven't had yet. Um, so if Sony's wanting to ensure that that movie gets, you know, butts in chairs at the cinema, they could, um, even if he's not one of the main villains in this, they could at least give him, like, um, 
a, a, a post credit scene or something to sort of set up his story. Um, especially if the the rumors are true that that film will take on the Craven's Last Hunt storyline. What better way to kick that off than for him to realize that, wow, there's more than just one Spider-Man. I could be, I could become like the greatest hunter of all time if I'm able to take out every version of reality's version of Spider-Man, um, which could be very interesting um, if they decide to go that way. Um, yeah, there's a lot happening. Uh, there's also the funny little coincidence. I don't know if this was deliberately planned, being that this film is a, um, a, a, a collaboration between Marvel Studios and Sony. But there is the strange coincidence that it landed on the exact day that it been marked with a heart on the calendar in WandaVision. Um, that's been a, a, an Easter egg that um, people have sort of discovered um, and by people I mean like hardcore gunters um, like I'm all for trying to spot where the sixth member is in this trailer because you don't just give us you know can confirm like actual Alfred Molina's face and this specific design of pumpkin bomb without going okay well like yeah we know that Willem Dafoe has told you that he's not in this but like this is clearly his character um because that is the exact design as the ones from the Raimi movies um so you don't just give us these without being like okay yeah no we know you're not stupid you can count Goblin, Octopus, Sandman, Lizard, Electro. Obviously we're going for the Sinister Six, so you would think that they would put that in the trailer as well. Um, I mean, for me, Lizard was the hardest one to spot, um, mainly because in the particular shot that he's in, Tom Holland is like front and centre, and Lizard sort of is a dark colour, bit of a blurry shape in the background there um so I initially missed him at first um and was like okay cool we've got Electro I can see that um I knew that we were getting a more comic accurate version and not Blue Electro which is from the Ultimates comics um I knew that that's the the, the aesthetic they were going for so the yellow lightning I was in me like that's Electro obviously Doc Ock and, and Green Goblin are kind of front and centre in their respective shots. Um, and then there's a lot of speculation that, like, the dust cloud, the first time you see in, in this shot, the dust cloud that's happening. And then in this bit, that the big old sand pillar over the side is Sandman. Um, yeah, it's... Um, kind of interesting um i think the other thing too for this film is that i am yeah so let's talk about who the sixth villain is going to be because it, what i was about to say kind of ties into that anyway um so if it's rhino or scorpion um and I'm kind of inclined to believe, because of the Lego set, that it is actually Scorpion. That does give us an actual villain in this in this film, um, because Willem Dafoe's Green Goblin, right at the end of that film, if you remember, um, Norman Osborn, like the Norman Osborn identity. Um, was trying to plead with Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man to save him from the Goblin because he didn't want to, you know, like, like it, was, it was essentially like, my body's being hijacked by this 
other identity that I don't want. Um, and so he's sort of, you know, the Norman Osborn part of him was a friendly character. It was the, the goblin that made him paranoid and evil. At the end of Spider-Man 2, uh, Doc Ock regains control over his, um, his mechanical arms and sort of redeems himself, becomes kind of a, a good guy. The Sandman character, you know, gets, gets forgiven by Peter and sort of becomes a sympathetic character. So those three villains have so on some level been redeemed and are not like all the way on the evil side of things. Um, we might even end up seeing Dr. Octopus being kind of a bit of a um, an anti-hero type of character, um, you know, trying to help but going about it the wrong way because the arms still have some level of a voice in, in his head. Um, the lizard, by the same token, tried to save Spider-Man as his like arm was peeling away. Um, you know, even though he was arrested, he at the end of the day was like, "Yeah, no, okay, like I've gone too far. I need to stop." Like, tried to redeem himself, um, which really only leaves um, Electro, who was blown up in that film. Um, but he's also still got the the, the part of Max Dillon being a spider fan at the beginning of that film. So there is still on some level a way to redeem Spider-Man in Electro's eyes. Um, which brings us down to the final the final ones. If we're gonna get Rhino, Amazing Spider-Man 2 finished with sort of the opening part of a fight scene. If Andrew Garfield does in fact make a return in this film, and if Rhino is in this film, even if it's just, you know, even if he doesn't end up joining the Sinister Six of this film, um, I think it'd be really, I think that would be a really interesting place to open one of the portals into the amazing Spider-Verse. Um, I think that'd be really cool. Um, maybe, maybe that's where we get Andrew Garfield's character from, like, at that point. So he knows, like, okay, yeah, no, so, like, you know, in my universe, Gwen Stacy's dead, and the Green Goblin's Harry Osborn, and, you know, the Lizard's a sympathetic character. Um, he would know that sort of thing. Um, so that could be kind of cool to open up there. Um, I think it'd be really cool if we're going to get Tobey Maguire Spider-Man. I think it'd be really cool to open up with the proposed opening scene for Raimi Spider-Man 4, unless that's actually happening now, which I think it might be, upon second thought. Two seconds. Spider-Man 4. Let's go. Yes, okay, cool. Um, if there, I mean, there might be, there might not be, I don't know what they're deciding to, what Sony's deciding to do with the Spider-Verse, but anyway. Um, the proposed opening scene for Sam Raimi's Spider-Man 4 was that it's gonna have Bruce Campbell revealed as Mysterio. Uh, if you don't remember, in the original Spider-Man film, he was the announcer at the Bonesaw fight. In the second one, he was the concierge. Yes. You know that one? It was it was the guy standing in in the in the foyer of Mary Jane's play, and then in the third one, he was the waiter at the French restaurant. So. A master of disguise, master of illusion, 
um, and he's going to be sort of showing that he was that universe's Mysterio. Um, and that could be kind of cool, especially since um, this universe's PR is like, you know, has supposedly murdered this version's Mysterio. So to see another version just having him arrested, kind of like, why couldn't you just do that then? Um, so that could be kind of cool. Um, and then obviously we're also able, therefore, to, in some sort of a way, kind of continue those storylines. Maybe set one or both of them up for a continuation. Um, you know, maybe get Sam Raimi Spider-Man 4, maybe get an Amazing Spider-Man 3, um, sort of as part of Sony's, um, Spider-Man universe which is now what it's called, the Sony Spider-Man universe. Which means that the renegotiations that they've recently done on the contract for Spider-Man in the MCU, um, which will give us, obviously, No Way Home, but it's also gonna give us one other film with Tom Holland in it. Um, we may end up, um, you know, this film may end up being the one that sort of pulls Spider-Man through to the Sony side of things full time. Um, I still maintain that they should um, either go and bring in one of their other Spider-Men, you know, maybe go back to the Andrew Garfield one. Um, and sort of just make him the Spider-Man of the Venom side of things and just sort of tie them in that way um, or that they should go a completely different route and make the the Venom Morbius universe a Miles Morales universe um, which could be kind of cool as well to see um especially with how well the um, Into the Spider-Verse did. Um, Sony should just probably you know, grab their own iteration of the character. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I do kind of think that with, as I pointed out, with those five characters that are coming through the multiverse, the five villains that are coming through the multiverse, all of them have, at some level, a redeemable feature about them that could help turn, you know, that could help make them less antagonistic, um, even if they are still sort of a foil for Peter Parker to overcome. Um, which means that having a villain from his own reality sort of waiting in the wings does feel like that's gonna be like the ultimate villain sort of a thing um, so I'm like I said I'm inclined to believe that the final member of the Sinister Six the one that's gonna still be there at the very end even though you know he might be just sort of hiding off to the side in some of these other the battles, um, yeah, it definitely seems like he's probably the most likely. Uh, the other part too is that the Lego set he's from is set in the basement of the Sanctum Sanctorum, um, and the shot that we see Lizard in, uh, he sort of runs into a magical force field, leading me to believe that that might be a point at which the Sinister Six all try to converge at once, um, which, yeah, um, if all of these speculated characters are, are there, it's essentially going to be a one-on-one -on -one fight either way, because we'll have Tom Holland a Spider-Man, we'll have Doctor Strange, who he knows are there, Wong's probably going to want to protect the Sanctum Sanctorum as well, you factor in that there's apparently going to be two other Spider-Man, the Tom McGuire and the Andrew Garfield version, and then potentially Daredevil as well. 
um, you, you, you've got six euros there. Um, so it could be it could be interesting to um, to see. Um, but yes, the trailer's released. I will link it below. Um, I'll also link um, an Easter egg breakdown, the new rock size Easter egg breakdown, in the description as well. Um, just because you know, I'm, I'm only specifically talking about who who the last villain might be and, and how he might set up Sony's Spider-Man universe um, and and sort of the future of the MCU um, as well. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna leave the breakdown and the trailer below. Um, if you haven't seen the trailer, do go watch it. It's so good. Um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it there for today. Uh, if you are new here, please hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that notification bell as well. You want to be notified when I upload new videos. If you liked this one, please give it a big old thumbs up. Um, let me know who you hope the sixth Sinister Six member will be in the comments down below. Do you think it's going to be someone? we've already seen like Rhino or Scorpion, but do you think it's gonna be someone completely new like um like Craven? Um or, or you know, maybe even someone like um Black Cat who was sort of set up in Amazing Spider Man 2 but never got to suit up in Amazing Spider Man 2. Uh let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And until next time guys, keep your head screwed on.